Hi there, uh, today I'm going to make a video, it's going to be quite longish this video but I'm going to literally make a distro or compiler a distro from a uh, Makulu constructor as a normal guy would when he purchases for 100 bucks and he starts building uh, I mean he gets the instructions and stuff with it but I'm going to pretty much do what uh, he would do and then I'll show you how easy and quickly it is to put out a distro with uh, Makulu Constructor so let's fire it up first time it's booting up sorry man I've got this girl who's just messaging me always at the wrong time Okay, so it's booting up. This is how it would boot up with anybody that buys a constru construction kit. Um, now my net is a little slow, so any downloads that I do that's big, I'm going to pause the video. Um, okay, so first time login. Let's log in username, password, and then SU to get to root password I could work with sudo but I prefer root okay so I'm gonna go apt get update that's the first thing you should do always so as you can see my net is slow usually this should fly but uh, but then again it's just the testing repos and the Makulu repo so really there isn't that many repos enabled by default just the necessary ones it fetched 750 kilobytes and it took 16 seconds to do that and I'm getting 46.5 kilobytes per second so you see what I'm dealing with okay so we do app get update then we do app get upgrade always okay there's 42 megs of upgrades I just want to see what they are oh okay this is gonna take a while okay so I think the best thing for me to do is just to pause the video here because I don't want to waste video time but um, so it's about six minutes. Woo! Picked up a little bit of speed. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. I'll come back when it's done. Right, the upgrade is done. So next, uh, we've done the app kit update and the app kit upgrade. Those two always have to be done, no matter what you install, or what you do. Always have to do those, especially um, the first time you've booted up. Okay, so that's out of the way. So now we need to install a login manager and a desktop environment okay so login manager light dm simple and easy so i'm going to do a apt get install light dm and that should be a small install yes just over a meg there we go setting up light dm very quick and easy then we're going to install I don't know what desktop let's take XFCE4 and I don't want any of the extras so plain and simple XFCE4 it's gonna fetch 12 megs 41 okay yes and that should take about I'd say another five or ten minutes I'm just gonna pause the video until that is done okay so that's downloaded now we do a reboot that's it four simple commands reboot okay system going into system will restart I should actually have paused it here too I don't really want to waste videos video time but I want to actually show everything working so we reboot so I did an apt-get update, apt-get upgrade, those are standard and then I did a install ITM and install XFCE4, nothing else that's all I've done the only four commands I ran and then rebooted right as you can see it's starting up just about everything all the back buses network support is there, audio is there, bluetooth support is there, everything's done so um, now we log in for the first time Makulu Makulu that obviously can be changed I've just made that as default on the image come on virtual box a little slow I suppose it's everything else I've got running in the background here there we go welcome to the first blah 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 okay 
use defaults okay I don't like the second panel so I'm going to remove it panel preferences and delete panel 2 yes remove it panel 1 unlock it I want to move it to the bottom oops I think I just moved the video there okay let's move the panel 1 to the bottom uh, what did I do with the video where is this video okay there we go so panel 1 is at the bottom we lock it let's go set appearance okay I first need to go into the menu settings manager I need to go to windows tweaks compositor switch it on all settings back um, appearance let's give it a different theme here I'm just gonna use basic themes I, I like a black theme so I'm gonna probably use dusk icons so I'll leave it that so they are the default icons actually now I'm gonna set it to the gnome icons a little darker I'm gonna choose something there we go I'm gonna choose that style and that color window manager let's change the borders a bit there we go okay all settings back uh, display keyboard mouse touchpad setting center okay that's there right as you can see if you go in here you've already got leaf pad installed you've got image magic installed you've got audio mix installed uh, you've got um, cheap art installed you've got bleach bit installed grub customizer light dm manager you've got makula constructor you've got synaptic package manager you've got update manager and you've got xfce terminal the xfce terminal was not installed with xfce i pre-installed that you can add your panel add new items uh, and yeah i'm going to put in the audio mixer in there anything else not really i like the orage clock i prefer it over the other one so i'm going to remove that one and put the orage one there rather close then i'm going to move this over that side i'm going to remove that don't like that and then i'm going to move this over there maybe put the clock there oh no let's put the clock at the end just looks better there we go so we've got network working we've got our volume control we've got the network we've got the clock and calendar which is nice but now it'll do that uh, quit okay now we're in the desktop you can literally now just start loading software playing with your themes playing with your wallpaper you know doing whatever you want to do um, you can go ahead and do it however I'm not gonna worry with too much of that because you know that's for the end user to do um, I'm just going to I just wanted to show you how quickly you get into the desktop environment and all the stuff that you have available like for example bleach but I'm gonna run that now obviously oh my phone's going crazy okay so let's go and clean up here I'm not gonna clean I'm just gonna clean up pretty much let's get rid of everything I downloaded only be a few hundred megs but you don't want to bloat the ISO with with that kind of stuff so let's clean the system a bit delete let's see how much ah. 370 384 megs we've cleaned okay so once you set up your desktop the way you like it you'll obviously do the constructor thing there's a separate video for the guys actually on how to do it there's a proper way to do it where um, you actually have to back up your home folder to scale otherwise you can't create a second user but I'm gonna skip that for now because I literally just want to show this working so let's go yes yes there we go put in password enter enter again let's call this distro something else let's call it test enter and it will literally start building now as you see it's already placed the installer icon which means the installer is now being set up in the background um, it's now building a file list it will start copying and uh, once it copies over it will compress all the file uh, compress the squash fs create the ISO add the EFI, EFI files it's all automated it does it all by itself that literally I just started the app and put in my uh, password hit enter 
I didn't even, didn't have to rename the distro but obviously if you want to you can and then just hit enter again that's it that is how easy the script is to run okay it will now automatically create an ISO with everything done you've got your network support you've got your audio support you've got Bluetooth working I don't have Bluetooth devices now but if I did and I plug them in it would pick them up um, all the back-end stuff is done for you okay literally all you have to do is design your desktop I mean you put in the software that you like put the themes that you like put the wallpapers that you like back up your home folder to scale and that's it build klar I mean you could literally put out a distro in days you know um, especially when you s this is still new you you're gonna obviously make a lot of time and and so you'll probably find that you probably would put out a distro in in just a few days but um, that is how easy it is to do this this obviously will go on now for about I'd say about 30 to 40 minutes it usually takes to build inside a virtual machine remember it doesn't run on actual hardware uh, it's simulated hardware so it takes about 30 40 minutes to create an ISO but once that once that's done it puts out an ISO well with this blank with nothing else than the other than this interface and the back-end stuff it's about 500 and odd megs the ISO I think it's about 590 somewhere around there um, maybe 600 megs um, but yeah it's got huge compression uh, I compress about 9 gigs into about 1.3 gigabyte ISO so yeah and I put crazy software on most people don't even put that much on so yeah easiest thing in the world and as you can see fully operational this is the actual construction kit that I used now you I boot it up it boots to that uh, 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 root I mean it boots to that sort of a uh, black screen terminal you kind of uh, log in log in log into root uh, app get update app get upgrade app get install light dm app get install whatever desktop environment you want reboot and you're in now you customize and build that's it that is how easy the construction kit is to use so um, I wanted to show this actual you know it working live so that people can see because I know in the other video I talk a lot about it and I'm trying to explain but people aren't actually seeing how easy it is I'm talking away here I mean heavily and if I look at the video we've only been going 12 minutes 12 and a half minutes so 12 and a half minutes and I'm already building my first ISO 12 and a half minutes fine I didn't really customize the themes and everything else but 12 and a half minutes and I'm already putting out my first ISO okay if I'd spent the uh, you know gone to gnomelook.org and downloaded a couple of themes and then downloaded some wallpapers so let's add on another like three hours that would have been three hours and 12 minutes to put out my first distro that is literally genius genius on a whole new level so there you go there you have it in action I'm just gonna pause until the build's finished I don't want to waste another 30 minutes watching the screen okay okay here's the uh, it's doing the um, squash FS file system now so this will go on for about another because the first part took about that's about 10 maybe 12 minutes uh, this part uh, takes about another 10 12 minutes and after that it's pretty quick okay now we get to the UF UEFI part it's creating UEFI image this shouldn't take too much longer compressions done copying files done pretty much everything's done at this stage this terminal will auto close itself once the process is finished there we go done that's how easy it is go to file system open home snapshot and there's your ISO 610.3 megabytes that's worth all the back-end stuff in full driver support you can boot this up on any PC it will pick up all the drivers it even has the driver manager pre-installed Bluetooth manager pre-installed networks pre-installed um, so yeah there's a lot of stuff pre-installed not everything you know not 100% because some certain things run on certain desktops only uh, but pretty much everything on the back end the stuff that you always put in every single distro that's all been done you know so um, that does shave off a lot of development time um, and yeah I mean okay uh, this video has been running now for 14 minutes and I've been doing a lot of talking 
um, let's add another 30 minutes for build time so this is like what 45 minutes 45 minutes hour and I literally put out my first ISO see how quick and easy that is you will never in your life ever find it so easy to uh, build on Linux especially Debian I mean Ubuntu there's always a lot of shortcuts but Debian there's never been shortcuts before so this is what Muskulu Constructor is all about this is what it does this is what the kit is uh, I offer it for hundred dollars membership obviously but um, you pretty much get all the back-end stuff done you get a partially built image all you have to do is install LightDM or whatever login manager you want for Debian recommended is always LightDM install your LightDM you've got a LightDM manager here as well that you can use to customize LightDM with brilliant little app written by um, Solid X community so um, install your LightDM install your desktop environment whichever you want customize it and build pretty plain and simple so yeah that's it